I see. Flames. My name is Alfin. Where am I? What happened? The rage surging within me, fueling the sword. Where did it come from? This twisting fear that clings to me, holding me in check. The melancholic voice calling out to me. Who am I? Who was I? This is... Wakey-wakey, sunshine. About time, too. A week? You mean that whole time I was... A cold? Yeah. Just as well, too. When you blacked out, you were on your way to becoming a pile of ash. <sighs> Shion's the reason you're still here. Shion, you've healed me? In case you'd forgotten, we've still got four lords to defeat. You dying would have only slowed things down. What about Balsef's troops? We've got them on the ropes. While you've been getting your beauty sleep, most of the remaining Renans have either surrendered or fled. You slaying Balsef was the catalyst we'd been waiting for. Thanks to you, Galaglia is finally free. You have my gratitude. We couldn't have done it without you. I just did what anyone would have done. Iron Matt... Forgive me. Alfin. It's good to finally see who I'm speaking to. <sighs> Half of him, anyway. So... Feel like telling us who you used to be? I... I wish I could. Memory's still giving you grief, eh? I see. Still, no sense in beating yourself up. You've remembered your name. The rest will come in time. So, what happens now? Well, just everything. The realm may be liberated, but we're still destitute. You name it, anything and everything starts from scratch. But enough of that. You've just woken up. You should get a sense of the scale of what you've accomplished. Head over to the Gates of Fire, and take a look at the view. It's a sight too many Danans died only ever seeing in their dreams. The Gates of Fire. I'll be your chaperone. Last thing we need is you tripping on a pebble and missing another week. Remind me to laugh next time. I wonder if something happened. This is... Yeah. Hmm? What? Shh. 
Xion. Why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the Lords. See? That's what I mean! <laughs> you want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword! Like that. <laughs> if you get any closer, you're going to set off my thorns, you know. Uh, I was just trying to compliment you. You were? <gasps> what now? Sion, your thorns! It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Corps. Thank you, Xion, for everything. <sighs> now let's go check out those Gates of Fire. We go. I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split. Once Balsef kicked the bucket and they had nobody left to obey. Blazing swords turned out to be even stronger than I expected. <clears throat> With that much sheer power, elemental types are hardly a concern anymore. You can bring practically any foe down to their knees in a flash. Don't count on me being able to pull off another Gates of Fire. That only happened because I had the help of that spirit vessel monster too. Still, you did defeat Balsef with it, which means it can also take down the other lords. That's enough for me. Besides, if it was any stronger, your body wouldn't be able to handle it. Have you forgotten what happened after we finished off Balsef? No. But aren't you scared of having that much power inside of you? Even a little? Why would I be? Power provides opportunity. You don't expect me to simply throw it away, do you? No, I get it. It's a good ace to have up our sleeve, that's for sure. I'll make the most of it. Well... As much as I can without becoming charcoal.
that monster that appeared from the spirit vessel, and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. Then it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power, after all this time, is what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I'd wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah, he's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. <laughs> 